Gerard Morin, Pole Transformers, Over Unity Circuit Comparison. Presented by Man Tim Lee, April 2018. My name is Man Tim Lee. I am 66 years old, living in Singapore. I am a retired engineer experienced in electromechanical repair and maintenance of steam sterilization equipment in hospitals. I wish to share with the knowledge seekers that I did a comparison on the performance of the Gerard Morin over unity circuit tested by Gerard Morin, Jane McKean, Mark Belanga to add on to the knowledge to extend my understanding as per my AC circuit analysis. The Gerard Morin pole transformers over unity circuit consists of two pole transformers in cascade connection, one 50 kVA, the other 25 kVA capacity, both rated at 14,400 volt. It was experimentally demonstrated that with a 4 horsepower 2.984 kilowatt petrol run electric generator supply 120 volt 60 hertz 30 ampere it could support 5.95 kilowatt of heater appliances source the double about over unity is over The test on Gerard Morin pole transformers over unity circuit consists of two pole transformers in cascade connection, one 25 kVA, the other 15 kVA capacity, both rated at 14,400 volt. It was experimentally demonstrated that with a 3,600 watt petrol run electric generator, supply 120 volt, 60 hertz, 30 ampere. It could support 6.8 kilowatt of heater appliances. Source, Gerard Morin's transformer replication. Test on Gerard Morin pole transformers over unity circuit consists of two pole transformers in cascade connection. One 15 kVA, the other 10 kVA capacity, both rated at 13,800 volt. It was experimentally demonstrated that with watt meter output 921 watt, a petrol run electric generator supplied 120 volt 60 hertz 8 ampere there was a 91 watt loss at low 830 watt soldering iron the over unity test failed source gerard morin generator transformer experiments Comparison Gerard Gini Mark KVA 50 to 25 25 to 15 15 to 10 Current amplification 11 11.3234 4.38 9.1261 Generator, 4 horsepower, 4.825 horsepower, 1.2346 horsepower. Generator, 2.9684 kilowatt, 3.6 kilowatt, 0 0.921 kilowatt. Load. 5.98 kilowatt 
6.8 kilowatt, 0 0.83 kilowatt. Maximum low, 13.3875 kilowatt, 10.2 kilowatt, 4.565 kilowatt. Current amplification, 5.1080. 2.9827 4.8814 Full output low 208.3333 Ampere 125 Ampere 83.3333 Ampere Current amplification 2.157 1.9117 1.9150 Generator required 15 horsepower 10.5 horsepower 7 horsepower Circuit breaker CB1 90 ampere 65 ampere 43 ampere Circuit breaker CB2, 200 Ampere, 125 Ampere, 80 Ampere. Pole transformer characteristics. 50 kVA, X1, 4147.2 Ohm. X2, 0 0.288 Ohm. 25 kVA, X3, 8,494.4 ohm, 0 0.576 ohm, X1 parallel X3, 2,764.8 ohm, pole transformer, 25 kVA, 8,000 494.4 ohm x2 0 0.576 ohm kva 15 x3 13824 ohm x4 0 0.96 ohm x1 parallel x3 5,184 ohm. Pole transformer, 15 kVA. X1, 12,696 ohm. X2, 0 0.96 ohm. 10 kVA. X3, 19,044 ohm. X4, 1.44 ohm. X1 parallel X3, 7,617.6 ohm. Conclusion. These comparison indicated that the Gerard Morin over unit T circuit with 50 kVA cascade to 25 kVA pole transformers rated at 14,400 volt has higher current amplification. 11.3234 with a 4 horsepower 2.984 kilowatt 30 ampere generator it was tested by Gerard Morin that it could support 5.98 kilowatt 49 ampere load my AC circuit analysis indicated that a 4 horsepower generator theoretically it can support 13.455 kilowatt 112 ampere load to fully utilize the 50 to 25 kva circuit a 15 horsepower generator may be used to support full load 24 kilowatt 200 ampere.
this comparison indicated that the Genia McKean test on Gerard Boring over Unity circuit with 25 to 15 kVA pole transformers rated at 14,400 volt has current amplification 4.38 with a 3,600 watt 4.826 horsepower 30 ampere generator. It was tested by Gene Lee McKean that it could support 6,800 watt load. My AC circuit analysis indicated that a 3,600 watt generator, theoretically it can support 8.5 kilowatt 70 ampere load. To fully utilize the 25 to 15 kVA circuit, a 10.5 horsepower, 7.833 kilowatt 65 ampere generator may be used to support full low current, 15 kilowatt at 125 ampere. This comparison indicated that the Mark Bellinger test on Gerard Morin over Unity circuit with 15 to 10 kVA pole transformers rated at 13,800 volt has current amplification 9.1261 with a 921 watt 1.2346 horsepower 8 ampere generator output in watt meter it was tested by Mark Bellinger that 830 watt divided by 921 watt equal to 0 0.9012 over unity failed. My AC circuit analysis indicated that a 921 watt generator output theoretically it can support 4.565 kilowatt 38 ampere load. To fully utilize the 15 to 10 kVA circuit, a 7 horsepower, 5.22 kilowatt, 45 ampere generator may be used to support full low current, 9.6 kilowatt at 80 ampere. The low voltage input on the pole transformer, 50 kVA. 25 kVA, 15 kVA has low resistance. X2 equal to 0 0.288 ohm, 0 0.576 ohm, 0 0.96 ohm. It can easily take in high current, have current surge. It can lead to power trip. It is not suitable to plug in to the wall socket. Circuit breaker CB1 to be installed for generator protection to limit at short circuit loading. Circuit breaker CB2 to be installed for low RL overload protection. The generator has limited current supply. It separates the current circuit from the electric grid. Unchecked short circuit, unchecked loading, it can lead to power trip. The input primary VA can overload the output VA, lead to burnout of pole transformers. Installation site to, for the pole transformers to be on plinth, high position, accessible to authorized maintenance personnel. The, one, the, the 14,400 volt or 13,800 volts wiring, even the neutral return wire in the circuit, when inadvertently shot to ground, it can lead to electric sparks hazard. All termination screws, nuts, to be tightened for good conduction of current to avoid arcing.
the pole transformers are to isolate from the ground with high voltage 20,000 volt insulation mat. This AC circuit analysis comparison is based on theoretical simulated loads. I have not done tests to verify to validate the result. Portion. High voltage 14,400 volt is known to produce electric sparks touching metal surfaces and earthing to earth ground. Caution must be taken. Do not touch any of the wiring in the circuit. Check all wiring terminations. Screws tighten. Wires securely fastened. Cables properly insulated prior to power on. To prevent electrical arcing, prevent current leakage. The pole transformers must have labeled high voltage 14,400 volt AC to alert end users. Insulation site to be on plinth, high position, 20,000 volt insulation mat, lock in room with high voltage 14,400 volt sign. Testing, servicing, repair, maintenance to be done by experienced, qualified personnel. Keep out of children, keep out of aerosol, flammable items away from the test site, test benches. Take same precautions as we would for any electrical appliances. Thank you for watching. This completes my presentation. I wish this presentation to be useful to the knowledge seekers, electrical engineers, students, researchers for continued research for practical use of the circuit. Thank you, Gerard Maureen, for the knowledge on pole transformers over unity circuit. Thank you, Roman. Thank you, Ginny McKean. Skip, Jim. Thank you, Mark Bellinger. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you, Knowledge Seekers. Thank you, my wife, Doris. Have a good day. Peace to the world.